Turn to the left. Mini left and mini left. Pizza. Hi busy bees, it's mommy Leandra and my little one Dominic and I am going to show you all the gluten free and dairy free items that we just got for our family from Publix. So pretty excited um, to show you what we can find in one of our favorite stores here in Florida. Let's get to it. So the very first thing that we got is this Lundberg wild rice. Um, it is so, so good. Um, it's sustainable uh, gourmet rice and you can find this even at like Target and Winn-Dixie and other places. Aldi, I'm sure has it. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. I don't know, I will find out. I actually wanna try going to Aldi soon. So let me know in the comment section down below if you would like to see like gluten-free and dairy-free finds at Aldi, because we do have one near where I live. So get you some Lundberg wild rice, really good. Okay, so I am super duper 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 big on these. Uh, tuna. You know, I'm just, I'm like looking at this right now. I'm like, is this even gluten free? Like, I'm assuming tuna has to be gluten free, right? Oh my gosh. Basically, I have been on this journey to like clean my gut for like the past month and I've lost like 10 pounds slow and steady. But this tuna is so, so great when I'm just on the go. And when I say on the go, I mean like on the go, like I'm running to a meeting that's in like the next room over because I work from home. If you want to see what I do when I work from home with my toddler, uh, check out this video above. But anyway, this tuna, I just mix it up with some avocado mayo. Like this avocado mayo, which is dairy free. I put this with one of these little tuna packets and I put it over some spinach and put some olives on it. It is so good. I will actually show you that in a future video because it is so good. Anyway, I got like four of these because they were on sale. So Dominic, this is your favorite one. What is this? A mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. So he and Elijah, my little one, they absolutely love this Auntie Annie's um, mac and cheese. So they are having some trouble letting go of the cheese. I guess that's partially my hey, fault. We have two but now. I do make sure I get the organic one healthier. I mean, it's still not like the healthiest thing ever, but it's it's healthier. Y'all, when I found these, I was like, Dominic, do you see these? Like, Dominic, do you see these? I was so excited. Um, because usually you see like protein balls or protein bites that are just like chock full of like terrible it's things. Kind of like, chocolate. yeah, it, this one isn't a chocolate one. I think we did see a chocolate one too, right? Yeah, but anyway, the GFB, these gluten free bites, I'm like, okay, it's gonna be like very hidden, bad, icky ingredients, but there is literally like cashews uh organic brown rice syrup coconut agave nectar that's organic dates which we have dates in the fridge actually love dates i never had dates until like the last month They're i'm so gonna good. look at it myself all right brown rice pea protein black seed sea salt and this is very very like low on ingredients that you do not know how to pronounce so i'm really excited to try this gfb gluten-free bites and this is the uh, coconut and cashew flavor this is not Okay, Dave's bread, I repeat, is not <laughs> gluten-free, but this is like one of the one things that I eat every week, and I'm talking like I have it twice a week maybe, uh, with the avocado toast and like little sweet potatoes and chicken sausage or something like that on the weekends with a fried egg. Only gluten, not non-gluten-free thing I eat in a week. You may see some other stuff in this video that's not gluten-free that I eat, but like off the top of my head, I think this is like the only like thing I eat that's not gluten-free. I got two of those because we go through bread like crazy with these boys. Dominic and I found these, these street tacos. Terrible ingredients. Let's say that one more time. Terrible, you're not gonna say it with me. <laughs> Terrible ingredients, but it is gluten-free. So I'm like, why not treat yourself? Um, yeah, so these are just street tacos. Really excited to have these for mission. Okay, I have, like I said, I have two breads, so I'm just gonna put this to the side. And so I just wanted to say, like, I am so excited to be on this journey. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if 
you too are looking for like gluten-free and dairy-free options and just eating healthier in general because I'm learning so much and even this like having plastic I'm like oh I shouldn't be having plastic bags I need paper bags and so these little changes that I'm making in my life and I would love to share this with you so be sure you hit that notification bell and let's move on to the next <laughs> let's move on to the next treat I just have these like frozen scallops I they were like Here's the thing, seafood at Publix, y'all. If you know, you know, it is really expensive. I do not recommend it, but I really have a dish that I want to try. These scallops were like $2 off, which is a lot at Publix, y'all. Publix is just, it's amazing. The customer service is great, but I'm sure I can find these things at other places, which like I said, stick around because I am definitely gonna be checking out other places for these gluten-free and dairy-free finds. So I am addicted to boneless um, organic chicken thighs, air fryer chicken fries, chicken fries, <laughs> air fryer chicken thighs are so yummy. I think it's like That's some, like meat. it is, I think it's like the dark meat of a chicken. So I don't know if it's like the healthiest in the world, but I love it. It's tasty and it's better than like fried food or whatever. So I'll the take it. Green fry. <laughs> Okay, this is the next one. Okay, so the next thing I have, I okay, we usually get fresh avocados, but they just go really, really fast. I have this trick where I put them in the fridge and that kind of lets them stay pretty good for a while. But this week, because I'm buying groceries on a Monday instead of the end of the week when I usually do, and we usually eat more avocado things on the weekends, I decided to get this, which it, here's the thing, so busy bees, just know that every like read the labels really read the labels um there's this guy that i follow um flave city and you probably know him because he has like a bajillion million subscribers he has me like looking at ingredient labels like crazy um so Haas avocados tomatillos water onions jalapeno peppers and it has like less than two percent of cilantro garlic and salt amazing it's literally just fresh like fresh fresh oh mango chunks oh boy yeah so we love frozen fruits and veggies we're doing better on that too we got to get more fresh stuff but these are really good in a pinch with a really good smoothie or a mango lassi which is like this indian mango drink lassi. yes which is this indian drink that we really really like so yeah oh you love it please you absolutely love it and then we have berries like fruits are the one thing that we do get fresh um we also have frozen berries up too in this messy freezer behind me, which I need to get to. Um, if you want to see me like clean out my refrigerator though, um, you can check out the video that's linked above when you finish this video. The baby especially he like loves these and he loves organic red grapes. It's dark blue. Yes, it is dark blue, but it's kind of like purplish blackish i don't know it's it's I yummy think it's, dark black. it's yummy though my husband hot chocolate and i are addicted to these prebiotic soda this is good for your gut the ingredients are amazing we don't even like soda do you know what this is a, a an alternative to juice we are addicted to juice not soda but this soda kind of gives us that like juice fix that we really really need why are you like staring at the camera like that? He's like, he's like possessed. He's like, mm, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a little freaky. And you have to chill them, like keep them chilled. But this is our first time having the raspberry flavor, but we usually get the watermelon. That one is super good. And then also we like that uh, strawberry lemon. We don't let the kids drink it because we don't want them to have like that carbonated, like whatever, like we don't want them to get addicted to like actual soda, but um, it's really good. And kids could drink it honestly, but we just decide not to for now. Yeah, I need to hurry up and get the stuff in the freezer. So let's move on to the next thing, Dom. Banana. Okay, we have bananas and they're organic bananas and we, there's honestly, is there really a difference? Is there a difference? I don't think so. Okay, spinach, I got a little bit smaller this week because we usually do go through it. But like sometimes if I get a little bit bigger, it's a little bit left left, and I don't want to waste any food at all, period. So Dominic, what are these? Mashed potatoes. These are not mashed potatoes. These are, <laughs> these are tomatoes. Oh, I was so excited for this. Yes, so Mary's. So I really wanted something to dip into hummus. We have this Ithaca hummus that you can actually also get from Publix. 
And I'm like, this thing is gonna go bad in the next like couple weeks. I need to get something to dip it in. Berries, very clean ingredients once again. If you know what Purely Elizabeth is, they have like these other um, like granola snack bite type things. Well, this one is like a oatmeal on the go type thing. I only got one because I'm not taking chances on something that's like nasty. Of course, um, I have to get sweet potatoes. And we have apples because we use them for like, um, with you know, we cut them up and we just eat them, eat them like that, right? Yeah. Um, I kind of want to fry some like apples in the air fryer. One apple. Yeah, and we also like to put almond butter on them too. Mm. So we've been trying some vegan food. I like hot dogs. Um, but then also these are, yeah, these are the Jumbo Smart Dogs from uh, Light Life. Mm. So my husband, Hot Chocolate, really wanted to try like a vegan hot dog because he loves, loves, loves hot dogs. Um, but he also doesn't want all the Why icky stuff. Steak? like lemon what are you talking about and then we have the spicy mexican chipotle plant-based sausage oh, we're just we're trying to like i don't think we'll <laughs> i don't think we will ever be like fully vegan just because we love seafood too much and there are other things we would like too much but um we definitely want to be more plant-based 100 person and dominic barely likes meat anyways he's part of the reason why we're more plant-based now it's i really like meat i know so this is from primal kitchen green goddess avocado oil salad dressing it's a mouthful but if you know you know this is some good salad dressing after i open it i put it in the refrigerator but it is amazing so get you some of this it is so good clean clean ingredients um totally gluten-free totally dairy-free coconut milk go coconuts um from Calif uh, califia yeah it is so good uh, i am so addicted to coconut milk now i put them in protein pancakes um i put them in, i put this in smoothies definitely i put this in everything like coconut milk and i use the oatly as well like the oat milk is really really good but i didn't get any of that because we have some leftover from last week so i don't want to obviously get something that i have <laughs> so um i got these eggs it's eggs guys I don't even know what else to say. We got eggs. Indian River Select, which is, I believe, gluten-free. Um, yeah, it is gluten-free and it's 100% purely like squeezed. Anyway, I feel like this is something that's very, very, very Florida because I don't think you can find Indian River Select in many places across the country. I mean, this is super Publix and it was a good deal. I think they were like two for five or something like that. Uh oh. <laughs> you okay baby so i got this for um hot chocolate just because not like hot chocolate like my husband i call him hot chocolate <laughs> anyway i got this for him because um the juice is something that i'm trying to stay away from right now i'm trying to only drink water i want to also mention that i have these like oat bars that i really really like but we have some in the freezer already these oat bars are oat milk bars from chloe's I can't find them anywhere else but Publix. So run to a Publix. If you're on vacation, come down to Florida and go to the first Publix you can find and get some Chloe's, which they also have like fruit bars too, but these oat milk bars are just so good and they literally have like five or six ingredients in them. Some other like Publix exclusive things that I can um, think of right now, but definitely subscribe to this channel so that you can get all the Publix haul videos and also Whole Foods. I really like Whole Foods. It's very, very expensive. So I don't get everything there for sure. I made a mistake and I did that once and I'm still like, literally I'm still like financially recovering from that, um, that trip. Thanks to my Instagram followers who told me to go to Whole Foods. You're the real MVPs. <laughs> I definitely will do a future video with a Whole Foods haul, maybe even like a Trader Joe's Whole Foods haul because they're very close to each other where I live. Let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like to see some gluten-free and dairy-free um, family food finds uh, at those places too, right? Thank you so much for being here with me and Dominic. He totally ghosted me. He is gone. I gotta go, gotta cook some dinner and remember, I care. Ah! <laughs>